Hi, I am Dr. Shoaib F. Padaria. I am an interventional cardiologist and phlebologist. I am director of vascular sciences at the Jaslok Hospital, Mumbai. I have been interested in peripheral vascular diseases since my undergraduate days. And after I finished my post-graduation in India, I was trained in vascular interventions at the Guy's Hospital, London, and then the Miami Vascular Institute in Florida. I started the country's first dedicated peripheral vascular unit at Jaslok Hospital in 1991, where for many years we were mainly dealing with arterial diseases. But we soon realized that venous diseases also are so prevalent and cause, can cause so much of problems in our patients. In 2003 January, ours was the first center in the country to introduce laser treatment of varicose veins in India. Since then, our center at Jaslok Hospital has performed over 15,000 laser cases and is one of the largest individual laser case centers in the world. Over the last two decades, the treatment of venous disorders, especially treatment of varicose veins and deep vein thrombosis, has progressed tremendously. One, because of the technological advances which are there, and secondly, because of the deeper and greater understanding of the disease process itself by physicians from all specialities. Having said that, this is a very, very prevalent condition. You'll be surprised to note that more than 40% of patients, of people in this country, suffer from some form of varicose veins or the other, either very, either very tiny reticular and spider veins or large varicose veins which can be the cause of great degree of morbidity and trouble to the patients. In our clinical practice, we see as a referral vein center that about 6 to 10% of our patients actually come to us with end-stage venous disease in the form of venous ulcers. And this incidence of venous ulcers is high all over Southeast Asia. One, because of our climatic conditions, our humid, hot climate, and secondly, because the awareness of this condition and the awareness that treatment is now available for these conditions is abysmally low, not only in the general population, but also amongst doctors. Over the last two decades, surgery for varicose veins has taken a backseat. Laser treatment of varicose veins and other newer modalities, which I would say we should call non-surgical methods of treatment, have become the gold standard for treatment of venous diseases. As far as varicose veins are concerned, we have two groups of treatment. One is what is called thermal therapy of varicose veins, which includes laser, radiofrequency ablation, steam, and the new kid on the block, microwave ablation of varicose veins. On the other hand, the non-thermal techniques include foam sclerotherapy, glue therapy, and various forms of mechanical, pharmacological, techniques. Overall, in my opinion, all these techniques are good. The end result of whatever you do in the patient is that the patient improves over a period of time. It's only a matter of difference between the time period in which the patient recovers that these treatments differ. In our country, foam sclerotherapy and endovenous laser would be the cost-effective solutions for our patients today. The other methods of treatment, including glue treatment, are still expensive, but I do believe that within a few years, this treatment will also become quite affordable to majority of our patients. Another area which has, in which treatment has progressed significantly is the treatment of deep vein thrombosis, or what we call commonly as DVT. Patients who suffer from what we call proximal DVT, which involves the iliac and the femoral veins, over a long period of time, they will develop a condition called post-thrombotic syndrome, where they will have continuous swelling of the legs, pigmentation of the skin around the ankles, and also many of them will have venous ulcers. 
with the newer methods of treatment such as catheter directed thrombolysis and mechanical removal of clot from these veins using various newer techniques a lot of these veins can be recanalized almost immediately and the incidence of post thrombotic syndrome and the symptoms due to post thrombotic syndrome can be alleviated in a large number of patients the future of vein therapy is very bright newer techno not technological advances are taking place day by day in the next decade or so we expect that majority of patients will come forward even at an early stage of varicose veins for their treatment what is required in this day and age is spread of awareness of this condition amongst the general population and also to spread the awareness amongst our family physicians because they are the first call of our patients before they go to the specialist i'm sure conferences such as the conference which we are having here today wicon 2020 the 13th annual conference of the venus association of india will help to spread awareness not only among specialists but also amongst the general practitioners this conference has been slightly unique in that we've had more than 75 international faculty for more than 31 countries apart from about 350 national delegates not only that during the last day of the conference we have over 1000 family physicians and 125 nurses from different hospitals from all over the city who will attend a CME on vein diseases whereby more than 20 reputed phlebologists from all over the country will address this gathering teaching them everything from the basics of vein diseases to the more advanced treatment I thank all the delegates and participants and faculty who attended this conference for contributing their knowledge to all of us to for helping to spread awareness about this uh, this condition and I am sure that this conference will be of great benefit to all those who attended thank you